hey guys welcome back to another episode of my css tutorials in this episode we're going to learn about the at import rule in css before we start what in the world is this rule okay at import rule what is it basically it's a rule that allows you to import a style sheet into another style sheet or to implement a design from a different style sheet straight into your web page this might not make a lot of sense let's go ahead and then use our code editor to demonstrate this visually in order to demonstrate this i have to create my separate styling documents so i simply open my file tree this way and then all i need to do is to create separate style sheet instead of this main style.css we're not going to create a separate style sheet so in order to create a style sheet you need to click on this plus here and we're going to give our file a name so i'll give it something like maybe background dot css let's create another style sheet so i'll click on it and this time we're going to give it heading dot css and finally i'll create another one and we'll name it font dot css now we have four style sheets or css files in our project folder okay and the main one being style.css so we're going to import whatever design that it that will leave here into our main style document with the help of at import rule so let's go ahead and then give our background.css some styling okay so let's give maybe body this way and then we're going to give our web page a background color so our web page is going to be adapting this background color from this css or background.css file okay so background and i will give it background color so background color and let's give it something like maybe yellow like this all right we come down and then we'll give it paragraph okay and our paragraph is also going to have a background color of white white like this okay for tutorial purposes this block of code is okay for now let's proceed to our heading.css file and inside this file we're going to be giving our h1 or our headings some color okay so all we need to do is to put h1 this file is going to contain all the designs for our headings so color each one have red color come down and then we give it h2 and h2 is going to have it's going to have green color so we put green h3 and h3 is going to have
let's give it black color okay default black good let's proceed to font.css and this file is going to contain our font design okay or our font and it will be importing that to our main.css with the help of the at import rule so right now we're on this font.css file all we need to do is to give it or assign our styling to this particular document so we have to give p tag okay and this paragraph because on my main web page we have paragraphs there i'm yet to create these elements all right so our paragraphs are going to have or take font family font family call cursive cursive we are also going to give it font size so font size of two or five em units so five em units all right i think this is okay so now let me show you what is happening we created three separate style sheets and inside individual style sheet we have separate design dedicated to this style sheet and with the help of add import rule we'll be able to import whatever design that is here to our main style sheet and that will also be reflected to our main web page all right let me take you to our web browser and then show you what is happening now you can see i've opened that particular index file sorry html file which is import.html and this is what i'm going to use to demonstrate to you okay so let's proceed by so i'll take you to import.html and the very first thing we're going to be doing is to give this page a heading so h1 which is heading one and then i'm going to put some text inside here so this is at import rule tutorial or rule video okay video like this so this heading one let's proceed and then I'll assign a p tag which is paragraph so enter something like all you need to know know about what you need to know about the at the at import rule in css css good we'll come down and then our the h2 tag okay and then i'll put my text there this is very helpful and then come down again and then we'll put p tag okay it gets like with this this way and then i'll enter another text so i'm just going to copy what is on top here and then paste it there in order not to waste time we'll paste that here and i think our last tag will be h3 so h3 like this and then i'll put another text which is something like this is heading three this way this is heading three heading 
three. All right, so we are done with our necessary inputs. Let's go to the web browser and then see what is happening. When I reload, nothing is going to happen. Good. So we have H1, H2, and H3 with our paragraphs inside. But currently, there are no styling to this. So all we need to do is to, first of all, make sure we link our main style.css to this particular file, which is already here. So in order to take whatever design that is here and transport it to the style.css, we need to use the add import rule. So when I use or import this particular file, which is background.css, whatever design that is here is going to be applied to our web page. Okay, so let's go to style.css. And then all we need to do is to enter at and then we'll put import. We put single code like this and then semicolon. And inside here, we're going to specify, we're going to enter the name of our style sheet. So which is background. So let's put background. Background dot css and that is it we have imported whatever design that is here to this so when we go to our web browser and then reload reload this page like i can see the background has changed and our paragraph 2 has a background color of white just like we have inside that custom style sheet here you see the body has a yellow background and my paragraphs will take white background that is it let's proceed by importing what is inside here that's the heading.css into our style sheet so i'll come down and then again we need the get and import this way import and guess it we put double quotes and then semicolon and this time we're going to enter the name of our custom what style sheet which is heading.css now let me take you to heading.css and see the, the style that is there so heading.css is going to apply color to all our headings on our web page. So I'll take you to our web page and then reload and our headings are going to change color. And I can see the first heading which is H1 has changed from that default black to red. Likewise, our H2 does also change color. Let's proceed to our final custom CSS file, which is font. So I'll take you to style.css and then we come down. Again, I'll put at and import. So I guess import. And now there's another way of linking to your custom file instead of this. This is what we get linked. But let me show you a different way. So after you put at import, you need to specify a URL. So you put URL and then you open it up this way. And then you close it by putting a semicolon. And this time we're going to specify the path to that particular file. So you can put single code like this and this time we're going to put font.css but before that let's go inside font.css and see what is in 
So after we apply or import font.css to our main style sheet, our paragraphs on our web page is going to change, or the font on our web page is going to change. The font family will change from the default to cursive. And then our font size will also increase to 5 EM units. We'll say bye-bye to this video because we are done. Okay? So let's enter our font dot CSS here and then we'll go to our web browser and reload and now you can see as you can see all our paragraphs have changed in font that is font size and then font family so that is it that's all about the import rule in css i hope this lecture has been informative if you are excited to see video like this consider joining me here that way anytime content like this is released you are notified hoping to see you in the next one take care